So pump A is clearly a rare lysosomal storage disorder. Um, it's caused by a deficiency of the lysosomal enzyme acid alpha glucosidase or GIA. Um, and the result of this is patients develop uh, progressive muscle weakness um, and in the severe form, infants with pompa disease, they also have heart involvement. Um, there's treatment that's been developed for pompa disease. Um, actually, um, uh, this was developed in multiple centers, um, but one of the centers was Duke University where I work. And uh, that treatment is enzyme replacement therapy um, or ERT, uh, which is a uh, scheduled infusion of the enzyme to treat pompa disease. Um, and that has become standard of care. It was FDA approved in, in 2006. So, and, but since then, we've been working on, on gene therapy as a new and improved therapy that could address some of the limitations of the standard of care enzyme replacement. Uh, so gene therapy has been developed um, with the concept that it could be a single treatment um, that would be given to a patient so they would make uh, the therapeutic enzyme. It would be a, a long-lasting treatment um, and the cells of their body uh, would, would take over and, and make the enzyme that's deficient to treat their disease. It's a, it's a simple concept and um, it's very related to the enzyme replacement that's already developed for many of these conditions. Um, but the difference being the patient's uh, own uh, cells in their tissues would, would make the enzyme to treat their disease.